Hello and welcome back to another week in my life in New York City. This week is gonna be a fun one because we're kind of doing a little weekend and week. We're starting on a Friday, which is always fun. Started off with the best workout this morning. It really kicked my butt. Honestly, I did housework with Sydney Miller. Whew. But tonight, we're gonna pretend it's my birthday. So today is Friday, September 13th, actually my dad's birthday. Next Friday, September 20th is my birthday. Next Friday, I will be flying to Atlanta, Georgia for one of my very best friend's wedding. I'm actually a bridesmaid in the wedding, a bridesmaid in the wedding. Um, so I'm gonna, I'm honestly so excited for that, but I was like, I still gotta celebrate my birthday somehow. So you might be thinking, Danielle, what's the big party we're doing this year? Because the last three years I've lived in New York, we've done a huge party. I'm talking huge with themes, everything. And this year I was like, I don't really want to do that. I'm turning 26. I don't know. Just like it wasn't, I wasn't feeling called, but I did want to have a fun girls night out. So that is precisely what we are doing today. So here's the game plan. 11 of my friends are coming over here first because a lot of them haven't seen my apartment yet. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little like pre-game charcuterie board crudite. I got all the groceries yesterday and I just love an apartment pre-game. Like honestly, it's just the best. And then we're going over to Maison Clothes in Soho. It's a restaurant, but it's my ideal restaurant because it's a restaurant that turns into like a party. Like you kind of sit there and eat for the first hour and then you rage and you stand on the tables and apparently it is so fun. You can't see inside the restaurant. They have like all these curtains. Like I think it's going to be so fun. And I, I, it's so funny since I always do themes for my birthday. My friends were texting me like, what's the theme? I was like, oh, no theme, but let's all like get dressed up and like wear a dress in your closet that you've been needing an occasion to wear. Cause I feel like that's a thing. So the guest list tonight, if you will, will be Delaney, Caitlin, Mary Steven, Kelly, Cass, Seb, Brooke, Katie, Margot, and my friend Daly. Um, so it's like all my besties in one room. I'm literally so excited. Um, so we're gonna have such a fun time. So I actually went to the container store and TJ Maxx this morning because I needed a couple like hosting things. I'm so excited to host and like put a whole spread on this counter um, because our reservation at Maison Close is not until 10 p.m. And that is because that there's like two sessions and the second session is like the one you want if you want to like party. Um, so obviously that's what we want. So it starts at 10 p.m. So I'm gonna have everyone come here at 8 p.m. And we'll kiki, have some fun, maybe go to the roof, take pics, do all the things, and then I'll head out together. So I'm so excited. I feel like I want to do a haul because I bought the most random stuff. I went to these stores in search of like little bowls because I got like olives and berries and grapes and like random things with a charcuterie board. And I wanted some like smaller serving bowls. So I got two different sizes. Ooh, ooh. So these are from TJ Maxx. I got, they came in a set of four. These are a little bit bigger. They're technically dessert bowls, but I think these will be good. And just to have for life. Like if I want to scramble some eggs, like, I don't know, whatever. So. I'm gonna run these in the dishwasher really quick, but this is the first set. I'm even more excited about this. This is also from TJ Maxx. Also the total for those bowls in this was $14, like crazy. Look, wait, you can't even see. Look how cute, like this is so matchy matchy with my apartment. I feel like it really matches the vibe. So it's like this long platter and then these are for like dips and such or like I feel like olives and I have some almonds, like that would be cute. So I also got this and I'm so happy those will accommodate my charcuterie board perfectly. Random stuff I got at the container store, I have been needing this. Like when my handyman has come over to hang up things and there's like dust on, like and the vacuum's not picking it up, he's like, do you have a dust pan and a broom? And I'm like, no, I don't. Like I literally don't, or if like glass breaks, which very well could happen tonight. <laughs> So crazy, I'm kidding. I literally got the most random stuff. I got these super absorbent cleaning cloths to clean my makeup brushes with. And you can like put it in the dishwasher, or the dishwasher, you can put it in the laundry and like wash it. I cleaned my makeup brushes last night, are we proud? 
I'm always wanting to try new laundry detergents and this one just looked aesthetically pleasing. Um, this is the brand Levant and it's the scent Fresh Linen. This is like such a beautiful bottle and it smelled really good. So I was like, all right. Yeah, like I want my clothes to smell like that. And I was a little turned off by the fresh linen because sometimes you just, you're tired of that. But this doesn't smell like that. Like this is like fancy hotel sandalwood vibe. This got me at the checkout. Like it was just a random day for me. We got the electronics cleaning brush because my keyboard and my like computer is just like crusty dusty. So we're gonna try and use this. And then I also got these screen wipes for my phone, my camera, my computer, same thing. And then the last thing I got, this is the smallest, miniest umbrella I have ever seen in my life. Like it's like, like this is perfect for my really small bags. I assume it's not a great umbrella, but I thought this would be good for like going out, stuff like that when you're like, I do need an umbrella. I don't, I really wonder how big it opens. I don't want to open it cause it's like bad luck or something, but anywho, I'm going to put all this away. Um, my apartment is super clean. I actually got it cleaned yesterday, so I'm feeling good about that. But I have some things I wanna tidy. I also have some updates I wanna show you guys. Are we noticing anything different here? I think yes. I finally, actually, well, Ryan built this for me last night. This is from Nathan James. It's a, I think they call it like a storage ladder, a ladder shelf situation. Cause I knew, I was like, I have this area right here and there's like thing back there that I wanted to kind of block. Um, and I used to have so much shelving in my last apartment for like cute decor and picture frame, stuff like that. And I was kind of missing that. So I got this. Um, it's also nice because it has these drawers. I have like a ton of my planners. So if I ever want to give them to people, but I also got this. I think I might put my printer right there. It won't be as cute, but for right now it looks really cute. I like decorated it. Um, and I'm really, really, really happy with this. At first I was like, ooh, ooh, is this gonna look cluttered? But then I was like, no, this is stunning. This is actually not really an update at all, but I moved this bowl over here um, cause it was on the ground and I, I'm still waiting on my coffee table. I don't think I'm actually gonna put this on the coffee table. I think I like that there. I think it brings some life to this area. Obviously still waiting on getting a plant. I just need to figure my shit out with that. And yes, I am getting a coffee table. It should be here in the next couple weeks. I am literally so excited. It's gonna be a super skinny, not super skinny, but like a skinny black wooden rectangle situation with like a split in the wood. Oh my God, it's so stunning. And I really cannot wait for that to be here because you know, it's nice to have a coffee table. In my bedroom here, I finally dressed up the bed a little bit and it's looking so much better. So added this little duvet comforter just to give some texture and I'm really, really happy with it. And then um, I actually just bought one more pillow and one more pillowcase like this. So I'll have three matching Euro shams. I believe that's what those are called. And then I have two sham pillows to match this. And then this little accent pillow in the front that I believe this is from CB2. But I am so happy with how this is looking. And the mirrors look great, however. <laughs> you guys are gonna kill me. I might be changing up behind my bed. I'm either gonna get a piece of artwork. I know you guys are sick of me talking about this. I'm either gonna get a sick piece of artwork above my bed or I'm thinking of doing wood paneling, which would be amazing. But then I have to take down the mirrors and like hang up the mirrors on the wood paneling. And I'm like, oh my gosh, that's a headache. I mean, I would have my amazing handyman do it. I literally love him so much. I texted him, I was like, so I'm considering changing it. And he was like, oh boy. Um, so I just can't make a decision. <laughs> I think that's all the updates I have right now. But then as for today, what I want to work on before my friends get here, I actually took one of your comments to heart and someone said, cause I had this perfume thing over here and it was definitely looking cluttered, but I thought I wanted the soap in the middle. Honestly, the soap has worked out just great here with my lotion. And then I moved this to the middle and it kind of, pulls it all together. I feel a lot of people said I can't have my perfumes in my bathroom, but like I've always had my perfumes in my bathroom and I don't, and I think they still smell great. Cause I also usually pretty much always have the door open when I'm showering. So in my head, it's like not that steamy in here. I don't know. This is what I would like to kind of get tidied up if you will. Um, before my friends get here, this, oh my God, I'm so excited. This is going to go in my living room and on the ceiling. And it's gonna look so 
so good. And then I have some donations here. And then I just have so many tote bags and duffel bags. Like I used to have a piece of furniture in my last apartment that stored all of that and I got rid of it. I do, however, have these two baskets that I could utilize. So I'm considering, I'm, I'm just gonna get started and see how much I can fit in these two. This that I bought the other day and I built, I'm just not, like I still haven't used it. So, but I'm my thinking is once I get everything out of here, I'll have like bath salts and washcloths and like cute tchotchkes here. But right now that's just not a thing. So that's what I'm working on in here. I don't know how I forgot to show this. This is the other update, Rare Beauty. Sent me the sweetest housewarming gift, which was this beautiful tray, a Rare Beauty candle, of course, and then these match boxes that say, Danielle's Place Established 2024, and then I Heart New York Taxi. I'm sorry, this is so nice. So now when all my friends come tonight, they can take a matchbox on their way out. This is so me, so kind. I'm obsessed. I also need to hang this up still. Anywho, back to cleaning. <laughs> this probably doesn't look different at all, but this is a huge change for me. Um, I still don't know where to put my donations. I think after I shower and after my shower is dry, before my friends get here, I may put everything in the shower, but also like this is just real. This is me, this is what it is. But I was able to put a ton of cosmetic pouches and tote bags in these two things. That's obviously not permanent, but I just want it to be like a little, a little cleaner looking. So yeah, bedroom is looking very nice and very clean. I'm still waiting on my rug. <laughs> I need to like check on that. I don't know where that is. The rug is actually nice because it kind of matches that darker color. Yeah, I need to check in on that, but room looks good right now. Getting some work done, just took a shower. I'm in my robe, I'm nice and cozy. I have like a little relaxing video on YouTube on my TV right now. Um, my Go Puff delivery is about to be here. I'm gonna give him my ID because I ordered some alcohol. I'm so crazy. My little Go Puff haul. Got some paper plates, some plastic knives and forks for tonight, some clear cups um, for drinks and stuff, and I'll just have this for future too, which is nice. Um, Casamigos Blanco, because I know that's like, I don't drink tequila, but my friends do, and I know they like that kind. And then some high noons, but then I already have a ton of Grey Goose <laughs> in there, so we're locked in there. So I'm gonna put the tequila in there, because liquor just tastes better when it's nice and frozen, and maybe we'll take a shot, I don't know, get crazy. Um, fridge is stocked. I think I'm gonna build the boards after I get my hair and makeup done because it's 3.30 and I'm actually getting my glam done at four o'clock. Yes, I'm getting my hair and makeup done. You know what? I just want to. I'm gonna make some room in here for the high noons so I can have a designated area for like the seltzers. This eight pack literally fit perfectly in one drawer. So we love that. I always do this like right before I'm about to get my hair and makeup done. I'm like, wait, I need to film a transition. It feels weird because my birthday's next week, but like truly, I don't really think I'll be doing much because I'll be at the rehearsal dinner and stuff for my friend. So I'm just gonna like pretend that it's my birthday um, tonight. And so I'm filming a transition. I filmed a couple, my hands hurt from like doing it. And if you go follow me on TikTok, you'll know why. Maybe I'll post on Instagram too. But I was like trying to... <laughs> my door is so heavy, this was so hard. And then I'll come out in my outfit. So I'm gonna keep my tripod like right here. And then I also have. Oh, oh baby, what's your name? And then it goes, Go, uh, it's your birthday. So that's what we're working with. Oh, I need to show you guys my hair inspo. This is my hair inspo for tonight. I wanna do like that wet hair look. Um, and I'm really excited. I'm kind of nervous, but I think it's gonna look so cool. She's just gonna put like gel, oils, all the things in my hair. So she was like, you don't even need to wash your hair, which I'm pumped about. And as for my outfit, we've got this stunning dress. I got this for Fashion Week. It's from the brand Magda Boutram. And me and Cass were like, wait, <laughs> this is a birthday dress. This is not, like, this is a special dress. And so I'm wearing my birthday. I'm so excited. It's like this brown corset dress moment that it's literally so comfortable in too. And I'm so excited to put it on later. Hello. Hello. Look at your clothes. They look so chic. It's like a whole vibe. I love it. We're in the lab. Cat's here now too. Olivia, we are just, I'm so excited. Makeup, like we can't even look right now because we're doing eyes first. Guys, we're actually doing kind of a crazy eye. Yeah, we are kind of doing a crazy eye. I'm really excited about it. We're gonna see if it, how it works. No, it's gonna but work. But Kat sent this inspo, which was so nice because I did not have one. 
and I love that liner. Yeah. It's basically so what we do. It's basically what I wanted to do already, but like with a cool liner moment. Yeah. What are you using? The Patrick Ta palette? You love that. I do. And I did a little Mario also. A little Mario, Patrick Ta duo, iconic. All the neutrals. I'm so excited to see. Me too. I'm <laughs> excited for you to see. <laughs> Put in more extensions, but no, no, obviously not. That's like my you. hair is just blonde. Well, <laughs> not my real hair, but guys, thank you so much. Oh my god, I can't wait to be in my dress. <gasps> Put it on. Put it on. Let's see. It wow, God's painting my legs right now. <laughs> Little contour moment. It's a full body job. It's a full body job. When I'm wearing a short dress, we have to go to work. So thank you. What you guys don't see is after you glam, you take a glam photo. Edited later. Yeah, me too. The body glow is. Woo! <gasps> Holy, is that a photo? That's a photo. Oh my god, that's so good. In Insane. <gasps> okay, we're all ready. They just helped me take the coolest glam pics and like just photos in general. Now I'm gonna, I am like not a professional cheese board maker, like literally at all, but I get good stuff. So we've got prosciutto, it's my favorite. I actually did get some just cracker cut cheese because sometimes it just hits. And then, oh okay, wait, extra sharp cheddar cheese, but now I'm realizing maybe there's some of that in there, I don't know. Manchego, brie, and then I'm gonna have a, oh, and borson cheese, because some of my friends really like that. And then I'm gonna have some dips, crudite. So I have hummus, spinach artichoke dip, and red pepper hummus. And then some carrots and celery. I have some grapes to put on the cheese board, some strawberries to put on the cheese board, and then some snap peas for the crudite. And I think I need one right now. Do you want a snap pea? Sure. I'm gonna pass <laughs> a snap pea. Mmm. Mmm. They're so crunchy. Love the crunch. Holy crap, it's so good. Mm -mm -mm. So, mm, so crispy. That's what I'm gonna get doing. I've done worse. I am happy with this. I hope everyone's happy with it too. I've got the most of the charcuterie here, a couple dips, and then this is like the crudite plus like random things that I couldn't fit on this board. One day I'd love to like clean this completely and make this the board, like the whole counter, but I don't know. But I'm I think it's cute. I wonder if I should switch out and put maybe I'll have this going over here, but mm, I need to remember to blow it out. I don't trust myself. I think I'm gonna put this one, even though it really doesn't smell that good. It's been burning all day, so it's fine. This one, because it's more of like a vibe. These are beeswax candles that my dad sent me. He was like, they're better for you, which I don't disagree. Like, I am fully aligned and aware. Is that like weird though? I feel like it's like, oh, there's a candle rather than like, is there a candle? Cause that one's like black. And then I need to figure out where to put the drink stuff. Like. Maybe I'll set up a little station over here where I can put the drinks. This is the staging area. We've got the paper plates, the extra crackers in case of, we're literally only gonna be here for an hour and a half. I'm so drama. <laughs> okay, I just set up the little bar area. I cut that open so people know they're welcome to use the limes. Club soda, lemonade, lime juice. Wait, is this tahine? I ordered tahine because I know some of my friends like, I don't even know if they'll use it, but I put that there. I really hope this is the same thing as tahine. I ordered tahine. This isn't, this that can't be tahine. They must have substituted it or something. 
tequila, vodka, cups. Oh, so this is the dress. I love it so much. My friend Cass styled me and I love it. Um, and then I'm wearing some, actually they're from Amazon, but they're so comfortable and they give me so much height. These bad boys, how good. I also bought those in black. I'm gonna move this now because I don't need it. Oh, how is it looking in here? I need to turn on the lights in here. I want it to look somewhat clean in here for my guests. And now we wait. It is 7.40. My friend Cass, I think she's gonna be the first one here. She sent me flowers. Danielle, congratulations on your new home and happy early birthday. I love you so much and can't wait to celebrate with you tonight. XO. So we've got two sets of flowers there. So nice. First guests have arrived. Look what they brought me. This is so on brand. She was like, this is better than champagne. I was like, yeah, you guys know me so well. So thank you. Look how cute they look. Wow. Obsessed. Yay, girlies. Katie made a martini with the olive juice. Is it like giving? Yes. Oh my God. That's amazing. Wow. I love it. I love it. Yesterday, it, once a year, I have this birthday, and for some reason, the next day I'm just down for the count. Like for the last, this is my fourth birthday in New York. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. This is my fourth birthday in New York, and I just really love those. And then the next day, I'm just down for the count, and that's okay. And I kind of planned for that, but honestly, me and Caitlin had the best day yesterday. And Mary Stephen, Mary Stephen, Caitlin slept over on Friday night. We all fit in my bed. It was so funny. And then the next day we just literally, Mary Stephen had to go somewhere but me and Caitlin just watched movies all day and ate soup and bread and it was just lovely. So there was just no point in vlogging, it was really vulnerable, okay? But today is Sunday, I just went and got my nails done because I'm in a wedding next weekend so I need some neutral nails and yeah, I just did like a light pink with a chrome. I'm really excited because my dad and my brother are on an airplane right now, headed to see me. So my mom and brother obviously came to help move me in, but my dad hadn't come to see my apartment and we had always had this plan where my dad was gonna come visit in September. Um, and then Fred decided to come as well, which I am just 
so excited about. I can't wait to have my boys here and we're just gonna have the best time. I'm taking Freddie to a movie premiere on Tuesday. He's really excited about that. And just in general, spending some quality time together and then they'll leave um, on Thursday. So I am just cleaning and prepping for them, changing the sheets, doing all the things, um, but yeah. Oh, and we watched the Georgie game last night and we won by one point and it kind of felt like a loss in a way. So if you're a Kentucky fan, you guys really pulled through, like you guys really um, held us up. So get a good uh, defense over there. But anyways, that's that. Around my birthday, I always find myself reflecting on life, feeling nostalgic. You guys know I'm a super nostalgic person and I kind of just think about like the next year ahead, reflect on this past year, just everything like that. And I find that going to therapy is really helpful for that type of reflecting. And um, I wanna thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the video. I love BetterHelp because you can literally just do therapy on your computer. You don't have to go into an intimidating office. And I feel like I would just put it off if I had to go somewhere, but I know I can just sit here on my computer and talk to my therapist. It's so nice. BetterHelp is such a great resource because I feel like a lot of people are really intimidated to start therapy. And um, maybe that you feel like, oh, there's nothing crazy going on in my life right now. There's nothing much but like then you realize, oh, it would be really nice to talk to someone. And that's how I'm feeling recently. It's just really nice to talk to someone that's not involved in my life at all. And they're just here to listen and reflect with me and give me good advice. Um, so you'll just fill out a questionnaire on BetterHelp's website and they'll match you with a licensed therapist. And if for some reason you don't feel like the therapist isn't the right fit, they'll literally give you a different one and match you with a different one. So it's very customizable. It's very nice. You can do a phone call. You can do messaging. You can do um, video call. That's what I do. I really like to do video because I feel like they can like see my facial expressions. I don't know. I just feel like that's nice. But the cool thing is you can do whatever you want. There's also a journal inside the platform for personal reflection, which is really nice. If you're struggling or think you'd benefit from a therapy session, definitely give BetterHelp a try. If you click the link down below or go to betterhelp.com slash Danielle Carolyn, you'll get 10% off your first month of BetterHelp therapy. So it's time for me to reflect. Um, I'm definitely excited and I'll see you guys on the flip side. Thank you BetterHelp for sponsoring this video. We are done and the boys just told me they are in a taxi. They were like, I'm in a taxi. I'm just excited because you just get in the taxi, say your cross streets and they said it felt very New York. I was really excited for them. I just lit this candle. So, and then uh, Cassidy got me these stunning flowers. I cannot get over them. They look so good in here. And I think my apartment's looking pretty good in tip top shape, ready to give my dad the tour. Freddie has been here, but he was here when it was in shambles. So, um, I finally got a third Euro sham pillow because I only had two from my last apartment and we were like, let's add a third. So it's like three, two, one. And I'm really happy with the setup and the duvet we layered over top. I'm really happy with it. I have some of my cards here. This one Delaney gave me is so cute in your tortured 20s department. <laughs> So funny. I also cannot get over this tray Brooke got me. That is so sweet. It looks, it's my first Hermes item. The boys have arrived and of course the toolbox is already out. Freddie's drinking his kefir, watching the bucks. Dad's in here. Dad, do you have something to say to the vlog? Hi girls. Hi girls. My blinds won't go all the way up so he is fixing them for me as he does, which is so nice. We're having some carrots and hummus, a little pre-dinner appetizer. Dad came in hot. He said, you need the shower filter. Are we putting it in now? Well, is it gonna match well? I think so, yeah. I mean, yeah, pretty good. So this is supposed to help with skin, hair, irritation, just all the things. This is the, he got it on Amazon, and this is the oil rubbed bronze one. It matches. Yeah. Pretty good, not with that, but it does match with the shower head better, so. Ooh. It was holding some water. <laughs> there it goes. My hair is about to be so soft. <laughs> okay, it doesn't look terrible. Yeah, I think so. I mean, I'll, I'll probably know more when I take my next shower, but. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, you just put it in the middle, yeah. 
Very nice. They're setting up their closet. This is like perfect for when I have guests come. I'm like, here's your closet. <laughs> Just took my dad on the amenities tour. <laughs> he loved it. And now we're about to go to an early little Sunday dinner. We're going to a restaurant called Felice on Hudson. It's so good. I've actually taken my mom there before. It's really good Italian food. Just wearing this Abercrombie top and some little cream jeans. Hopefully I don't get uh, red sauce on these pants. <laughs> We're looking at the elephants exhibit and meat packing. Apparently they're for sale. Oh, herd migrating. This is so cute and wholesome. Yeah, now you can. We're on the roof. Soaking it all in post dinner. Good morning. It's Monday, and Freddie's getting us all to- Fun day, fun day, baby! Big week in the apple, we gotta start it strong. Look at these beautiful flowers. Come I on. know. So, we just had our coffee all together. Now we're gonna go down to the gym and get a little morning movement in. And then we're gonna have, today's gonna be like our big fun day. Today I don't really have anything that I have. Actually, I do have a call. At 4 30 inch remembered but other than that we are good to go we're gonna go to the museum of natural history i think we've got a fun dinner reservation maybe walk around central park it's that kind of day so let's get it started oh hello this is so extra Dad's hanging yeah, up my mirror in the landing area. Sorry, you... Oh my gosh, it looks so good. A lot of you guys have told me, and I don't disagree, I need to like, these drawers are just super unorganized right now, so I need to organize them so I can put the stuff in here, which will be a fun like rainy day project. But for now, that's staying as is. But I have my matchbox holder, and the other day when my friends were here, they all took one, which made me so happy. Um, but the mirror just looks so good hung up. Gives some height space. Yeah, Freddie's making us some eggs. Yum. Fantabulous breakfast made by Freddie. This looks divine and the perfect way to cook the eggs. Just learning all the lights down low. Take it nice and slow. Now he's hanging up the sunglasses racks that I've had for a while, um, which is totally something I could have done. But you know what? Sometimes it just hits different when your dad does it for you, and I'm very grateful for that. So I got three of these from Amazon, and it has like a little rod so I can hang my sunglasses, which I'm pumped about because I've had my sunglasses in all these different little bags. <laughs> wow, this looks very nice. Where do you want the next one? Um, okay, let me get a pair of sunglasses yeah. and let's see how it looks. Nice! Is that how they stick in like that? Yeah. I guess, yeah, I guess that's a good idea in case I'm coming around the corner and I hit something. So it looks like it's gotta be... I'm glad we put a pair of sunglasses there so we can see how it hits. And Debbie's in town! Look at this OOTD. Obsessed. Where's everything from? Do you remember? Well, necklace is electric picks. Is it straight? Yes, it's perfect. Uh, oh, Spanx. I almost asked you if it was Spanx. Uh, I don't know what these are. Skirt, so cute though. Belt, Valentino. I love your little arm stack here. Very cute. Don't ask me the names. Oh, this was my mother's. Aw. Which one? This one? Yes. I love that. This was. These are my mother's too. Aw, Grandma Ginger. And this was my mother's diamond, but I put it in the ring. Oh my god, cute! So where are my mother's Today we are gonna head uptown and we're gonna go to the Museum of Natural History, Central Park, walk around the Upper West Side, maybe Upper East Side, but I think the Natural Museum of Natural History is on the Upper West Side, I do believe. So um, this is my little outfit, pretty simple. I just wanted to be comfortable. White tee is from Cuts. Jeans or Abercrombie, little Orium collective belt. I'm gonna wear my sneakers to be comfortable and then bring my black bag. So, and a, a pair of sunglasses. So, I'm excited for our day. Also, my dad hung up my sunglass rack for me. I still have some more sunglasses, so I might buy one more. He's a little stressed. He thinks it looks a little chaotic and he wishes he hung it up a little further from each other. But for me, it really doesn't bother me like at all. So, I'm gonna organize them so they're like color coded ish, but. It was so nice of him, I love it so much, but I think I am gonna buy like at least one more thing.
changed and off to dinner now. Dinner time. We're going to Medusa and meat packing. I've been dying to try it, so I'm so excited. <laughs> She's just now seeing the elephants for the first time. Crazy. I know. They're apparently they're traveling around the country with them. From dinner now, my dad's opening his birthday gift for me. You no, might, you might be confused at first. Flip it over. Flip the other side over. What is it? It's the hatch alarm. It's about to change your life. Because you were telling me about how you use your Alexa, which I obviously love my Alexa too. Well, this has been such a well-rounded vlog. We started out with Friday party hardy to wholesome family time. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's Monday night and I just took a shower wearing my PJs. They're watching Monday Night Football and we're gonna go to bed soon and we've got a, an exciting week ahead. It's my birth week, hee <laughs> hee. Even though I feel like I already celebrated my birthday but it's fun to just still say it's your birth week. So I'm gonna end this vlog here, start a new vlog tomorrow. You guys know the drill. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and I'll see you guys next time for the next video. Good night, bye.